Our severe weather threats finally coming to an end across mid-Missouri. Our weather alert day will expire tonight before midnight. I'm expecting most of these storms to continue moving out of mid-Missouri, but we are left behind with quite a bit of rainfall. We had over a half an inch across parts of mid-Missouri tonight, and we actually had some reports of possible tornado damage in eastern Pettis County tonight. Also a couple of reports across northern Missouri as well that we are going to be checking on with our news crews tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here's where the cold front is right now. That continues to track on to the east. I'm expecting us to get some much cooler air filtering in from the north. Likely going to have a couple showers across far northern Missouri into tonight. But as high pressure starts to build in from the west, we are going to finally see some clearing and more sunshine by late tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a chilly night Behind this system, we are dropping back down into the mid 40s, about 45 for Boonville and Columbia overnight low in Jefferson City at 47. Gusty winds overnight as well, possibly up to about 30 miles per hour, continuing that into the morning. So it's going to feel even cooler with that strong wind throughout the afternoon. Even by late afternoon, we are still seeing gusts up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. That is going to keep temperatures cool, only making it to the 50s during the day. And I'm expecting rainfall to be moving out of the area, so we won't see much rain at least until the middle of the week. Our next system, though, could bring us another round that could add another inch to our total for the week. This afternoon or this evening, I'm expecting most of the rainfall to be out of our area tomorrow. Finally, some clearing from west to east here's three o'clock. Most of the cloud cover working its way out, so we'll be in for a very chilly morning on Tuesday. Likely we'll have some spots that fall down into the upper 30s to start off the day. Going into the rest of the week, I am expecting another chance of some showers and a few rumbles of thunder. Tuesday night into Wednesday as our next system moves in from the west. Not expecting severe weather with that, but we could end up again with another inch of rainfall through the end of the week. That low pressure system continues to track right over us Thursday into Friday, so we'll have some rain on the back side of that as it rotates around on Friday morning. Thinking right now by Friday night, we'll clear things out just in time for high school football, but it's going to be kind of soggy again once in, again into the middle of the week. Around an inch of rainfall for the next seven days. After that, we are clearing out just in time for Halloween. Temperatures over the weekend are going to be rising into the 60s, so it'll be right around 60 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. Here's my seven day forecast. We're going to be tracking temperatures in the 50s tomorrow, so it's much cooler behind this system. Again, quite breezy throughout much of the day. But as we head into the evening, the winds die down, the skies clear out, dropping down into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees by Tuesday morning. The rest of the week, we're warming up just a little bit for Tuesday and Wednesday. That next system, Wednesday into Friday, will bring us chances of rain and bring us some cooler temperatures. We're only making it to the mid to upper 50s Thursday and Friday with some beautiful weather ahead for the holiday weekend.